Good Monday morning coming up on Great Day Washington in just about five minutes. We sit down with a radiologist who talks about his research that shows just how dangerous e-cigarettes are to the lungs. sitting down with a radiologist who talks about his research that shows just how dangerous e-cigarettes are to the lungs. We have a health alert for you this morning. A pilot study using nuclear medicine PET imaging is showing alarming results in reference to electronic cigarettes. It was published in the Journal of Nuclear Medicine and we are joined by the expert who led the pilot study, mm -hmm. Dr. Jacob Dubroff. He is a nuclear medicine physician at the University of Pennsylvania. So good to have mm -hmm. you. Thanks for having me this morning. We kept hearing so much about e-cigarettes being better than mm -hmm. smoking an actual cigarette, but your findings are saying different. Well, we found in a, in a small uh, number of subjects that we found more inflammation using nuclear medicine PET in the lungs in the e-cigarette users than in the nicotine mm. cigarette users. More inflammation in the lungs. More inflammation in the lungs. Okay. Interesting. So we don't know what that means long term. Mm -hmm. um, the harm that we know about for regular cigarettes we know that's terrible mm -hmm. from decades of research. I mean, our first Surgeon General report was in 1964, and they had the 50th report in 2014 highlighting all these new things we found out were bad with regular cigarettes. So e-cigarettes, vaping cigarettes, really the modern cigarette invented 2003, mm -hmm. brought mm -hmm. to Europe and uh, United States 2006, and then really growing use since that time. Mm -hmm. So last 10 years, I'd say. Doesn't giving yeah. us doesn't give us a lot of information of what that's going to mean long term. Yeah, decades from now, what exactly. that will turn into. But what made you want to do the first study of this kind on e-cigarettes? So, good question. So I think for me was looking at what the youth behavior was a couple of years ago, and mm -hmm. it's since exploded since that time. So we know that something like 15, 16 percent of of children mm -hmm. being high school students, and even half a million we think middle schoolers. So wow. two and a half yeah. million high schoolers. Mm -hmm. 500,000 middle schoolers actually use tobacco regularly, use nicotine regularly, and 90% of them is vaping. So it's mostly oh. vaping, They're, and that's that number has been growing. Yeah, which is which is alarming for us because yeah. no one needs nicotine. Your body doesn't need nicotine, mm -hmm. right? So why are we using nicotine? Yeah. In, if you're 15, 16 years old. Right. I have right. two teen girls, and so I hear a lot about, and I have no idea whether they have or not. I'm, I'm <laughs> sure everybody's tried something at some point, but I hear about it all the time happening right. at their school. Mm -hmm. But vaping and e-cigarettes are the same, same thing. Same behavior. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just getting the terminology correct. Because <laughs> <Right. laughs> it's always changing. It's, it's, actually, it, Never know. it's actually, there's a surprising uh, kind of spectrum of different ways to do it and different devices. Uh, I kind of I brought a couple devices today to mm -hmm. show you. These are disposal devices that I think would probably be most popular among younger people. And mm -hmm. you see, they're they're also they're very vibrant colors, and yes. and the colors kind of are associated with flavors. And we know the flavors also cause right. greater use with the nicotine. So there's so a you whole can get fruity flavors, exactly, minty flavors, exactly, right. right. So. You're, wow. You probably look at the green, and you associate the mint, or the the pink or the purple. You associate maybe grape or fruit or something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. And we know that in that 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 kids and adults also use mm -hmm. more and more when that flavor enhances the nicotine. Oh, I'm sure. I don't know if you'll answer this. What do you think it's going to do long term? I know you just you were focused oh. on this study, but if you had to predict, I'll, I'll tell you what I don't want it to do. So okay. a huge portion of my job is looking at using nuclear medicine PET to look at cancer scans. Mm -hmm. And now, lung cancer remains our number one cancer kill in the United States, 125,000 Americans a year. I don't want mm -hmm. it to be replaced by some disease we haven't figured out yet from the electronic mm -hmm. cigarettes, mm -hmm. because it's going to take decades to bore that health out, or yeah. some, other, some other disease that we haven't figured out yet. Yeah. That's what I worry about. Mm -hmm. Something new coming down the pipe. Exactly. So, um, when it comes to, because you think about the smoking, there's obvious signs when they're right. smoking. The smell, you know, color of teeth, mm -hmm. whatnot. So the right. vaping obviously is so much more attractive for that reason. I see people vaping in large crowds all the time, right. even indoors all the time. Right, mm -hmm. and different municipalities have different rules about who's right. doing what. It's, we've, we've made cigarette smoking kind of intolerable in most places. But yeah. vaping, there's a question about that mm -hmm. because we don't know the harm, right? If we mm -hmm. thought it was harmful, we probably wouldn't have it 
tolerate as much. Yeah. And even though we don't yeah. know exactly, I mean, the, seeing the inflammation in the lungs, so we know it's harmful it, now. Well, th that's the trick, right. right? So my study did not measure harm, but when we okay. think of something with more inflammation, harm is implied, right? There's mm -hmm. nothing, there's no okay. condition in medicine that's like, oh, more inflammation is usually a good thing. Like, right. More inflammation yeah. is usually a bad yeah. thing. I would say you're here right. to tell but, us some bad news. But, my, <laughs> I, but I try to stay very grounded in the facts, yeah. and the yeah, facts yes, here true. is that we don't know what happens. So what you don't know really can hurt you. And that, to yeah. me, is the very skin, scary part of this whole Absolutely. vaping trend, very especially with younger people using it. Yeah. Very eye-opening. Thank you yeah. for being here. Tell us about your you're study. Welcome. Appreciate it. We'll, we'll keep an eye on that for sure. Yes. Absolutely.